All right. Yeah. So we're still here with Arthur from rebel.pl. Yeah, I'm still here. Actually, yeah. are you guys rebel or rebel.pl? Is that your actual company designation? Rebel.pl. Okay. Right on. There you have it. And we're looking at, we just looked at K2. This is Basilica. Basilica, yeah. So, yeah, it's funny. I mentioned before, during K2, not knowing this game was up on deck, you know, that K2 being a mountaineering game that was novel to pick a game set in a mountain, but, you know, as opposed to, say, a Renaissance or ga Gothic, you know, type of thing. But yeah. anyway, it's foot in mouth. But anyway, so it's a two-player game. Yep, How only long? two players. Um, should only take 45 minutes as well. Okay. But um, we played it in a hotel yeah. last night, and uh, has potential of being uh, a kind of long-term strategy game as well. Okay. So it can go long if, yeah. if people are really good. How, right. However you want to play it. Um, <coughs> basically, uh, game's about two architects competing, competing for the king's favor, who ordered building a great cathedral. Um, They're going to be playing uh, player turns. Um, and each player turn, you need to do three actions. And the available actions are basically either building, build, building the cathedral by using these uh, sort of building blocks, colored building blocks. Um, you can always see on the game board which building blocks are currently available. And then you just place them uh, so that they either join the uh, game board or join a piece already in play. Uh, with one side can't be diagonal. Uh, the other action is putting down one of your builders on one of the blocks, but you have to put it on one of the blocks that you played in the same turn. Okay. And the third action available is playing one of these orders. The uh, building blocks, they're two-sided, and one side's uh, a cathedral tile, and the other side has an order. Um, by executing orders, you can do a lot of nasty things, either to... So all the green tiles are the same, or each... This one's no, green they're, and they're, blue. They're, Totally mixed them This one's yeah. red, so and okay. Something else, I gotcha. yeah. All right. And you might have different red orders. All right. Um, and the others let you do uh, a lot of different things. They either let you move your own pieces or do master things to the uh, piece of the opponent, uh, move them around, take them off. Uh, you can put these uh, sort of scaffolding tiles, which essentially let you block the expansion of, of uh, a certain part of the uh, cathedral. Um, you can place additional tokens, you can give special abilities to your builders, like, for example, uh, letting, the, letting them uh, count twice when you're counting the points, uh, build uh, these kind of uh, mosaics. Stained glass windows, yeah. Stained yep. glass windows. Uh, and the objective of the game is basically building colored zones within the cathedral plan. Uh, and having as many uh, of your builders on these zones as possible. Okay. Or, or preferably more than your opponent. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you play these, uh, these cathedral tiles, when they have a crown on them, then the king's pawn, which is this yellow one, moves along the uh, uh, victory point track. When he gets to these red places... 10, 20, 10, 30. Yeah, exactly. Then you count the points. So you count the points three times in the game. And then you determine the zone. Score. Score the zones. For example, here you can see there's a green zone here and a yellow zone here. And in the green zone, the, uh, the brown player's got the most builders, so he's going to score uh, points for how many ever tiles are in, so the, two. Are in the zone. Yeah, right. So two points. And then the yellow guy is a tie, so... No, it's, it's actually it's not, not a tie, tie because, because he counts oh, double. Right. Okay. So he gets two points for this, and yep. then he gets two additional points for having a stained glass window in his right. part of the cathedral. Uh, yeah. And then that'd be and another then, two times two? Yeah, exactly. I see. Very easy. Yeah. Um, so basically you have... Uh, you have like seven or eight different orders that you can execute through the game. And actually, that's, oh, that's I see. These are actually just reverses. I yeah, got gotcha. you. These are reverses. I got gotcha. you. So you these can, are orders. These are buildings. Yeah, and you okay. can also see what kind of color is going to come next because ah. as you take these tiles, these are always flipped over automatically, and then uh, replacements from the stack are put here. And the reverse is also true if if I had picked that or if I'd picked no, that no. one. If you if you pick this one, then you take one from the stack of available tiles okay. and you put it here. Right. On this side. I got gotcha. you. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's it. Um, 
there's a lot of strategic potential. So and basically, you pick one and do something, I pick one, do something, yes. et cetera, et cetera. But, um, Game timer, points, bang. Yeah, Whoever's ahead at the end wins. But there's also a twist, meaning that some of these uh, orders, they have a coin, coin mark on them, okay. which basically means that uh, you can interrupt the other player's turn. Ah. Uh, when he plays this order, you, you've got a, a coin token that you can actually give him. Yeah. Uh, and it lets you do uh, a kind of lesser version of the, uh, of the order that he's playing. Um, this opens a lot of strategic or tactical potential to the game because, uh, for example, if one guy is promoting his builder to be an architect and make the zone count double, then you can automatically uh, promote one of yours to make him count double and score the, score the double points for the zone because you now have majority of builders in, in the zone, right on. for example. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. That's basically it. So you said two players, 45 minutes. Two players, 45 Looks minutes. Looks pretty cool, actually. You only I like need, it. You only need to read the part of the... Uh, of the game rules, which tell you what these orders do. The rest is self-explanatory. Right, yeah, 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 totally. And there's only three up at any one time, so you can just say, well, the new one's this, and it does blah. Yeah. Yeah. So but, um, it can be a fast game, fast-paced game, a strategy game where two guys are just uh, removing each other's tokens and playing against themselves. And OK. A Very lot of neat. Potential. Well, it's a pretty good debut you guys had. Yeah. Thank Good you. luck to you. Thank you for coming by. We appreciate Thank you for it. for having us. You guys got to put your signatures on the box. I know you're not the authors, but still do it anyway. Aldi yeah. gets pissy sure. if we don't. Yeah.